Hey guys, Andy here, and welcome to my November 2019 update video. Coming up. Alright, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Welcome once again to my November 2019 update video for, you guessed it, November 2019. Woo. So yeah, as always with these monthly update videos, we're going to go over some personal life stuff as well as YouTube stuff. So as always, let's just jump right into it. And the first thing I want to talk about is YouTube stuff because I actually have some stuff to talk about YouTube wise. And that is uh, first I want to talk about my newest channel, Andy Japandi. Um, as you guys know, if you follow me in my previous updates, I released an all new channel, Andy Japandi. And uh, it's going to host my Japan content moving forward. So it's going to have the Andy Talks Japandi series as well as the Andy Japandi series for when I finally get myself out to Tokyo, Japan at the end of the year. And uh, the response for the uh, first two episodes on that channel of Andy Talks Japandi has been tremendous. Really loving reading you guys' comments and seeing the views and all that kind of stuff pop up. It's really giving me a lot of motivation to... Uh, keep going with that channel and I also want to talk about my editing channel edited by the Andy san I know I haven't really been the best or the most consistent with that channel I've kind of had phases with it you know where I just bust out a bunch of tutorials and then leave for a couple months and uh, that was kind of the case uh, recently um, I had some time and uh, decided to bust out a whole bunch of tutorials and uh, been really loving the response for those as well and I've really been loving covering the new stuff in Adobe Premiere for 2020 Definitely going to be putting out some more tutorials. I have uh, three to four on deck that I get to get down to editing. And I'm going to be releasing those on Fridays moving forward until I run out, basically. <laughs> and uh, another bit of uh, youtube news, and that is this is the last month for Military Mondays. As I said when I uh, first moved to this channel, I was moving all my stuff over from my Andy Talks Navy channel onto this channel. And I wanted to do it, just kind of phase it in a little bit at a time, so I dedicated every Monday to having it upload from my Andy Talks Navy channel onto this channel. And uh, we're re reaching the end of our backlog. So by the end of this month, I think the 18th will be the last upload for Andy Talks Navy, unless I make some new episodes. Those will be just kind of on a case-by-case -case basis. It's not gonna be a regular series anymore. So Military Mondays are gonna be coming to an end. Now, as far as the direction of this channel moving forward with the uh, introduction of the Andy Japandi channel, I want to make this my personal channel. So it's gonna contain a lot of uh, overall updates and stuff like that, and not just involving my personal life, but also my other channels as well. So that way I don't bog down those other channels with updates and things like that. And you just get the content that you sign up for and just have this as an update channel, as well as just a channel for uh, stuff that doesn't really fall under the uh, the purview of uh, those other channels. You know, it's always nice to have a, a, just kind of a channel you can do whatever with. You don't have to worry about, oh, I don't know if this content is you know, falls under editing tutorial content, or I don't know if this is Japani enough for uh, this channel. You know, I can just kind of do whatever and just have the freedom to express myself, broadcast myself, as it were. Now, let's get on to some personal life news. So, just a little update on the whole Japan situation. I haven't gotten any response back as of yet uh, for my visa. Uh, I just kind of turned it in a couple weeks ago. About a month ago actually over a month ago shit and they said it usually takes about six to eight weeks to process and you can't really get a hold of tokyo immigration or anything like that uh, during the process there's not like a little status check thing you can look up sadly so i'm just kind of in limbo for the next couple weeks or so when it should be coming in but uh, as far as school goes i'm doing pretty well with that um getting really good grades turning in assignments Pretty much all I can say, really. As far as other stuff like uh, freelancing projects and uh, flipping and all that kind of stuff, I still have a couple freelance projects I got to work on as well. But I've been primarily getting by thanks to uh, the GI Bill and also selling stuff on eBay, which I'm been doing pretty good with that. I, you know, I've been selling stuff like once every two to three days. It seems like. Yeah, that's also something I want to pursue when I get myself back out to Japan is different ways to make money. You know, like a lot of people, when they think of making money in Japan uh, as a foreigner, anyway, uh, the main thing they think of is like teaching English. But there's all kinds of different ways to make money. And I'm not saying this to like downplay English teaching or to look down on it or whatever. You know, you can definitely make a fair bit of coin teaching English, but uh, more than one way to make a buck in Japan 
or a couple yen, <laughs> as it were. And I want to showcase those things, and especially for students, because on a student visa, you can only work so many hours a week, so you're pretty limited as far as that goes. But there's other ways to make money that uh, don't consume quite as much time. Do it right, you could make a fair bit of coin in the long run. That's pretty much it for uh, the updates for this month. So, with that said, this is the Andy Sun. It's not for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.